Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 11, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with alkynes and we have reached up to the physical groups of alkynes. So today, lesson 12, we want to proceed to the chemical groups of alkynes and we are saying alkynes are more reactive than alkenes due to the presence of the triple bond. Remember, alkenes were having double bond. But alkynes, they have triple bond. So alkynes are more active than alkenes, and that's due to the presence of the triple bond. The triple bonds is the reactive side for alkynes. So we are going to see the first chemical properties of alkynes, which is combustion of alkynes. You see, a line, like any other hydrocarbon, will burn in air to form an oxide of carbon and also water. This reaction is usually accompanied by production of a lot of heat. Therefore, it is preferably used in oxygen acetylene flames. In a limited supply of air, ethyne undergoes incomplete combustion to form a mixture of carbon and carbon to oxide. The yellow sooty flame observed is due to the unburnt carbon. So we're going to have ethyne gas reacting with oxygen gas in a limited supply of oxygen we are going to get carbon to oxide gas plus carbon plus water in excess air ethyne burns completely to form carbon frozen on water and that's two moles of ethane gas reacting with five moles of oxygen gas in excess air or in excess oxygen giving us four moles of carbon frozen gas plus two moles of water so number two it's addition reaction. The same addition reaction in alkynes are faster than in alkenes due to the presence of the triple bond. We start number one, reaction with hydrogen, and that's called hydrogenation. We are saying ethane reacts with hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst to form ethene, then ethene. That means this reaction occurs in a two-step way or in a two-step reaction. So the first step, ethane reacts with hydrogen gas. In the presence of nickel catalyst at a temperature of between 150 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius to form ethene gas. Then in step two, what will happen is that ethene gas will react with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel catalyst at a temperature of between 150 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius to form ethene gas. So the second addition reaction, but B, we are saying reaction with the halogens. That's called halogenation. When a thine gas reacts with the red brown bromine vapor the bromine vapor is decolorized the decolorization process is faster in ethane than in ethene because of the presence of the triple bond the bromine atoms are added to the carbon carbon triple bond to form 1,1,2,2 tetra bromoethene and we're saying this reaction takes place at room temperature and it is a two-step reaction. Thus, the first step, what will happen? The first step, what will happen is that ethane will react with bromine gas. This is how we write ethane gas reacts with bromine. And what we are going to do is that the triple bond breaks up to form a double bond. Then initially you have in two hydrogen in ethane. These are the two hydrogen. Then bromine gas consists of two atoms of bromine. The name of this compound is called 1,2 dibromoethene because we have double bond there. The second step is that we take this 1,2 dibromoethene, then we are going to react with more bromine gas. What will happen here is that the double bond breaks up to form a single bond. Initially, we are having two hydrogen. One hydrogen is here, the other hydrogen is there. And we are also having two atoms of bromine. They are there. Then that means bromine gas consists of two bromine atoms. They are here also. So the name of this compound is 1122-tetraboromoethane because now we don't have a double bond. Okay. Next, we are saying pure chlorine. Pure chlorine reacts with ethane with a violent explosion forming carbon and also hydrogen chloride gas. And this is reaction. Ethane gas reacting with the chlorine gas, we are going to get two moles of carbon solid and also two moles of hydrogen chloride gas. When diluted with an inert gas, chlorine reacts with ethane to form 1,1,2,2 tetra chloroethene in a two-step two reaction. The first step. 
The first step, what will happen is that a thine will react with chlorine gas and the triple bond breaks up to form a double bond. We are going to have two hydrogen in a thine and two hydrogens are there. Then chlorine gas consists of two atoms of chlorine. They are here. The name of this compound is 1,2 dichloroethene. We have a double bond. That's what we are saying, ethene. The step two, we take this compound called 1,2 dichloroethene then we're going to react with more chlorine gas what will happen is that double bond breaks up to form a single bond and this will be one one two two tetra chloroethene what will happen is that we were having two hydrogen this is the two hydrogen we're having two chlorine this is the two chlorine and in chlorine gas we have two more atoms of chlorine which will be placed here the name of this compound we're having ethene as our longest chain then we're having four attachments of the same kind we are going to say tetrachloro, and two of them are placed in the first carbon, and two of them are placed in the second carbon. We proceed to Roman 3, reaction with hydrogen halides, and that's called hydrohalogenation. We are saying ethyl does not react with all hydrogen halides. Hydrogen iodide reacts readily at room temperature. Hydrogen bromide reacts when warmed, while hydrogen chloride reacts slowly. Start from a one. Reaction of ethyl with hydrogen iodide. Step 1. We are going to have ethane gas reacting with hydrogen iodide. So what will happen is that the first step, the triple bond breaks up to form a double bond. Then we will have in two hydrogen initially, this is two hydrogen. In hydrogen iodide, we have one hydrogen here atom, then we have iodine atom. The name of this compound is called iodoethene because we have double bond. So step two, what will happen is that iodoethene reacts with more hydrogen iodide to form 1,1 diiodoethene. So what will happen is that the double bond breaks up to form a single bond. Then we are going to have something like this. What we have done here is that the two iodine atoms are on the same carbon. So if you put it on the different carbon, we are going to have 1,2 diiodoethene. You have to know that. Then in general, what we are going to have is that ethane gas reacting with excess hydrogen iodide gas giving us 1, 1 or 1,2 diiodoethene if you put the one of the iodine on the other carbon. Okay, problem 2, reaction of ethane with hydrogen boromide. In step 1, the same will happen. The first step, ethane will react with hydrogen boromide gas giving us boromethene. What will happen is that the, double bond, the triple bond breaks up to form a double bond. Initially in ethane, we are having two hydrogen, those are the two hydrogen. In hydrogen boromide, we are having hydrogen atom and boromine atom. To name this compound, we have one attachment called boromoethene. Okay, so step two, boromoethene will react with more hydrogen boromide gas and it's going to give us one one di boromoethene. So what will happen is that the double bond breaks up to a single bond. So initially we're having three hydrogen, one, two, three hydrogen. Then we're having one boromine, that's the boromine. In hydrogen boromide, we have hydrogen atom and also boromine atom, which is here. So the name of this compound is called one one di boromoethene. Okay, in general, we are saying ethane gas will react with excess or two moles of hydrogen boromide gas, giving us 1,1 dibromoethane. Okay, Roman 3, here we are having reaction of ethane with the hydrogen chloride. The same thing will happen. Step 1, ethane gas reacts with hydrogen chloride gas, giving us chloroethene. What will happen is that the triple bond breaks up to form a double bond. Then step 2, Chloroethene reacts with more hydrogen chloride gas, giving us 1,1 one, one dichloroethene. What will happen is that the double bond breaks up to form a single bond. So in general, we are going to have ethane gas reacting with 2 moles of hydrogen chloride gas, giving us 1,1 one, one dichloroethene. Then next, we are going to see test for alkynes. And we are saying the, alkyne, the test for alkynes is similar to the test of alkenes. Because both of them are unsaturated hydrocarbons in which the oxidizing agents are decolorizing. However, the reaction is faster in alkynes than in alkenes because of the triple bond in alkynes. Then lastly, we've got the uses of alkynes. We're saying number one, they're used in the industrial manufacture of compounds. Number two, they're used in the manufacture of synthetic verbs such as rayon. Number three, they're used in the production of important chemical reagents and solvents in which it's used as a starting material. Then number four, they're used in the they're used in the oxygen 
acetylene film which is used for welding and cutting of metals. Solanas, that is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching.